So there are a few options for getting into IT in a quick, like very quick manner. Things like boot camps, you have Udemy courses, things like that. But there are some that don't really give you that benefit of having like a good resume, projects, a portfolio to actually get an interview and to get a job. They might, you might be able to take like a Udemy course, but it doesn't really get you much. It gives you the certificate of completion and employers just skim right by it. They don't give you any projects, things like that. So I'm going to go over a couple of things um, that give you cert certifications, projects, resumes, cover letters, portfolios, everything to get you ready for your first IT job. So first, let's talk about your traditional IT boot camps. These have been around for a very long time. Um, some of the cons and why I personally would not take an IT boot camp unless you had someone pay for it, maybe. Um, but if you're trying to get an IT, that's likely not the case. Boot camps can be anywhere from like 5,000 to 10, 20, 30,000 for a 12 week, whatever it is, boot camp. Obviously, some universities do it, which that's why they're so expensive. But a lot of boot camps are extremely expensive. And that's why I wouldn't really recommend a lot of boot camps unless you have the funds to do so. Um, they do get you an IT fast and they probably would get you a job. But for the price range, probably not the best idea um, because you're just going to be putting a bunch of money up front to land your first job. And there's a lot of simple, cheaper ways to do it without having all the overhead. So now we're gonna go over the Google IT Support Fundamentals certification. Um, this came out about a year or two ago. It is made by Coursera, not Google. It is sponsored by Google, but Coursera has made um, and sponsors this certification. Um, there's a lot of courses on Coursera that they have made. Uh, I think they have stuff from like Amazon. They have uh, courses from like universities. Has a lot of different courses. It's pretty much like Udemy, but um, it's a subscription-based model. Udemy also has subscription-based, but um, it's a pretty long certification program. It's about they estimate about six months. It took me five to six months to complete it. It is. It goes into deep detail of technical support fundamentals, networking, operating systems, uh, sysadmin, security. A lot of the stuff they teach you is stuff that's going to go in and out, in my opinion, unless you actually apply it. They do have some quizzes and labs in the, in the program, um, but a lot of the times they're really simple and only take like two minutes to complete. So you don't really get much from it. You get some knowledge um, from taking it. But it throws a lot at you at once. Um, like I said, it's a pretty all-around certification, but it does give you a lot of time to take it. But the more you spend or the longer you take to take the certification, the more you're going to end up spending, which um, I guess makes sense. Um, if you want to get a job, if you want to get a job fast within like a couple, like a month, two months, three months, probably not the best option for you um, unless you're just going to speed through this course and like study for it 40 hours a week, whatever you want to do. Um, but Google IT Professional, it's well known. It's a uh, credible certification and gives you some projects, things like that. But the certification I'm about to go over next does all that and then some more. Now I'm going to go over the certification, which I think would personally give you the fastest way to get into IT, which will be the Course Careers Information Technology Certification. It is pretty much a boot style or boot camp style certification, which teaches you your day like day to day tasks in IT help desk that will actually help you get a job. For example, it'll give you a bunch of projects things like that to add to your portfolio, add to your resume, which will help you leverage an interview, things like that. Um, it's a well-known up and coming information technology certification that mixes the experience of having an, a boot camp, but it gives you the things you actually need to do in the IT field rather than just give you all this knowledge, but not actually tell you how to apply it, which is what a lot of certifications will do. The course career certification will go through things like uh, Active Directory, ticketing, uh, Azure, soft skills, actually soft skills, talking to customers and dealing with customers. because That's a big part, almost as big, if not bigger than the technical side of IT help desk. Being able to help customers and deal with customers all day is something that a lot of people can't do. So learning how to do that is very, very important. And not only that, about halfway through the course, you'll learn how to actually make a resume, a portfolio, things like that, a cover letter, and actually know what jobs to apply for, how to do interviews. It'll give you mock interviews up to, I think it has five mock interviews in the course. And not only that, at the end, they give you some like next step, uh, next step uh, opinions and I guess options sort of, if you want to get into like cybersecurity or a data center, server administration, rather than just help desk, they give you some options to kind of move, uh, give you a little pathway to actually get there. Um, so this certification is pretty nice. It doesn't take very long to complete. I would say if you're studying pretty quickly up to three months at the most to complete. Um, but if you're someone who learns fast and wants to get the job fast, it's all on you to take it as fast as you want. 
But I would personally recommend this to people who want to get into IT relatively fast because IT is a growing field and you obviously want to make money as fast as you can or at least get the job as fast as you can so you can start making money or career transition, whatever you're trying to do. So there's seven modules in the course career certification. Um, it gives you an intro to IT, day-to-day -day help desk task, job hunt, job execution, interview execution. So it doesn't all go over IT. It goes over actually getting a job. So it does a lot of it does a lot of what a lot of certifications don't do. For example, like A plus certification doesn't tell you how to get a job. It just gives you the A plus and you're just like, what do I do with this thing? Um, but halfway through the course, you learn how to actually make a resume, portfolio, things like that. Obviously, it's at your own pace. So if you're interested in getting into IT Help Desk really fast, this is a certification that I would personally recommend. I'll have a link down in the description for it. jamesy.tech slash course careers if you guys want to get there really quick. Um, the first uh, module is free um, and you get a $50 discount off of the certification. So even if you're not sure if you want to take the certification, at least do the first module because like I said, it is free. Um, from my link down in the description. If you go off site, it will not give you that. But first one is free uh, with my link. So if you are interested in getting to IT help desk relatively fast, this is the certification I would recommend. At least try the first course. If you don't like it, that's perfectly fine. Let me know in the comments if you did not want to take it, things like that. Um, it is a four to 12 week course. That is what they estimate. Um, like I said, link down in the description. That is all I have for this video. Uh, let me know if, if you actually do end up picking Google IT support, course careers, or any other pathway. And if, you are, if you're already in Help Desk, comment down below how you actually got there and to help the others that are actually watching this video out. Um, because the goal is to get people into tech. Tech is a growing field. So let's get people into tech. This is Jamesy Tech. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Join the Discord down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.